Today on Black Predator Maniac Shooting, I'm leaving all the big long guns at home. I got a chance to, on loan, try one of these things. This ought to be a lot of fun to test out with Swiss and shoots and powder and see what I can hit with it. Yeah, I got an opportunity to shoot something a little short today. It's a, uh, a Juker, maybe that's how it's pronounced, J-U-K-A-R, cap gun built in Spain. We're going to put some shoots in 3F into it today, and we're also going to try a Swiss. Let's see if we can knock out some of those critters down there. We're going to put 30 grains of 3F shoots in, into the gun. Instead of the pellet ticking I normally use, which is way too thick for this gun, I have some muslin material here, Mr. Flintlock Lube, and wet this patch all down. I got the old ball starter here, which will make it easy to get this one started. And shove it down good ways. And a little tiny ramrod. That's set. Oh, I have no idea where that one went, but it sounded good. That's why. Yes! Got oh, all of it smelled like powder, even though I didn't get him. Oh. <laughs> Let's load up so we can pop that milk jug over there. I like to see some stuff splatter. Okay, that's enough for now. Rescue my Daffy Duck up here in just a few minutes. I'll give you some good and the bad and the ugly of shooting this particular gun. Here, I couldn't use the pellet ticking material. I used the point six thousandths muslin material, very thin materials, which actually worked out good. When I used the Mr. Flintlock lube to push the balls down in there, it was very easy to do. I even got the thumb start most of them to get it in there. When we first tried this gun a week or so ago, the CCI caps just did not like this gun. It would never fire using CCI caps. Not beating their product up, it just won't work in this gun. But the Remington caps work about 75 or 80 percent of the time. I even replaced the nipple this morning, put a brand new one on there, and the same results happen. Another thing is, is the ramrod, it's very easy to come out of the gun. I'm sure it was brand new, it worked good. When you push it in there and you twist it to one side, it stays locked. But now it will fall out if you don't pay attention to it. And you will lose it in the woods. Tried Swiss 3F in the gun today. I started originally with 25 grains. Bumped it up to 30, made a powerful punch when it got up to 30. And the shoots in 3F also work good at 30 grains. These guns are about 75 or 100 bucks a piece in pawn shops, at least here in Kentucky they are. Good chance that you could find one if you snoop around and look if you like to shoot these type of guns. I had a good time playing with this one today. Just be sure you check it out well. Be sure it's got a good lock on it, triggers work and so forth, and have fun shooting it. Thanks for watching it, and we'll catch you next time. time for the Jucar 45 caliber. I had a hard time using it the other day. And I'm going to take the nipple out of it, which I've already done. I'll put it into the vise and I'm going to grind it around with the uh, with a vise or with a file and make it so the nipple will hold those number 11 cap better. I bet it will work this time. Let's find out. I think it's going to make that gun work almost every time. Just put the nipple back in after grind it down. And I bet it'll work every time I put a cap on now. There's three. Five. 
Six. Things are nice when they work. And I'll quit after ten. Seven. Oh, it'll work now. Eight. Nine. Ten. I think it's running now. Can't wait to try this pistol on New Year's Day. Well, Jacob's going to take it with us. We're going to pop some targets with it. I could get any video clips of this thing being used at the friendship shoot back on New Year's Day. Just too much excitement going on to, to even catch up with the guys shooting it. If you'd like to see a little bit of that action, I'll leave a link to that video in the description below. Lots of shooting on that one. I did a little bit of grinding on the nipple, and let's see how this old juker is going to work now. Cross my fingers, right? Yes! The gun worked! But choke missing the hog. Oh. Round two. Let's see if we can whack him this time. <laughs> if I can't get him this time, I'll just go down and whack him with my foot. I won't let him get away. That's right, we'll take him out that way. Final update on the G car. I took the nipple out and put it in a vise and grind it down all the way around so the caps would fit all the way on it. And that way, probably uh, I had 90% break this time. It was up better. I had one cap that didn't work. Thanks, Jacob, for letting me go it. We'll catch you next time. <laughs>